welcome back to What Are T Noobs? This is a Leopard Prototype A. It's a tier 9 German medium tank. It's located on the north eastbourne of Highway and it's under the command of Sly Meerkat. Okay, game started. Now this is the German contender for the universal tank, the European tank. And, well, it's quite a decent little uh, vehicle. Very low on armour, but it does have a very good gun. It's got a 105mm gun with 420 alpha, penetrating 278mm with standard APCR, and 323 with premium. Now, Sly did go down into the dip, but changed his mind, mainly because nobody was coming with him. And then he saw one of those, yes, the EBR-105. This is a tier 10 game. He's a tier 9 tank in a tier 10, so yeah, he's going to have to work hard. Beautiful shot in the EBR, 428. Always like to see those tanks hit and destroyed. They shouldn't be in the game, but they are going to be in the game, so let's have them destroyed, please. Well, there's the EBR-75 making his way through. I think he got hit, or he changed course. Over there we've got a TVP-250-51, the tier 10 Czech medium. That's quite a nasty little tank, that one, with uh, a gun that can dump all of its rounds in just 4.5 seconds. And do 1,200 hit points of damage in the process. I think our poor ELC Evan 90 has gone down into the valley. And, well, very few are actually protecting him at the moment. Only a Progetto 65, and the ELC, well, he looks like he's fairly well hidden, because the EBR hasn't found him yet. <coughs> yeah, they've gone right past the ELC, Evan, but they're, oh, they're going to find him now. They're heading straight for him. They must have seen him. Yep, I think they have. Oh, what a shot! Takes out the EBR. Uh, we lose our back chat 25, though, unfortunately. And, oh, what a shot in the mutts! He's gone. So that's two kills to Sly. TVP moved. I'm not sure we got a shot on him. EBR sitting at the base of the ridge line. Progetto 65, side of the turret. Yep, thank you very much. That's too easy. We're going to have a number go. Put him back into the bush. Yeah, it's a super accurate gun, unless, of course, it ricochets. 8.7 seconds is the reload time. Oh, he was seen. Stand a beat, pull back. That's the opposite number to this tank in terms of. Uh, uh, the contestant, the Italian contestant for the European tank. Okay, with that EPR's running riots through our cap at the moment. Oh, just around have the T-54 and an E-75, but we put a round into the TVP. Set him alight. He's burning, he's burning, he's burning, he's born. That's a kill. And we bounced around from the E75. Ouch, that hurt. That's the RT. I think we might need to leave this spot because we were hit multiple times. It may be the Progetto is actually spotting for us, but we've got a spotter badge on our own anyway. Currently got three kills as well. Pops up to try and take a shot at the Progetto who's departing in the area. Can't see that standard beam. She's down there somewhere. Oh, now we've got a Patriot in the cap area. Now, Patriot's got a 90mm gun with a fast fire rate. A bit faster than ours. His is about 6 seconds, 5 seconds. Uh, Sly's decided to... Approach him from an angle he hasn't been seen. Oh, he has. Yep. And in fact, now the enemy's got a Centurion here as well. One into the engine bay. 400 hit points. Nice shot. It's 
Centurion versus Centurion. And Centurion dies. Okay, he's decided to retreat. Behind the bush. And fires on the move. Needs to use the terrain to his advantage. Okay, back chat in that corner. Yes, lovely shot. Good shot on the Centurion. He's one shot. He's gone. Now, let's deal with that Patriot. He's hiding behind the wreck. Uh, the only weak spot's that Capola that we can hit. Oh, and he gets one into us. Yeah, that hurt. Again, the best way to approach him is through the dip. The thing about the Leopard, it's really one of those tanks where you try to hit people from a distance with a super accurate gun because you don't want them to fire back at you. But we've, we've got two tanks going after that Patriot now, the standard B and us. And between us, I think we should be able to handle him. So it's where is the T26E5? Oh, he... He was wiped out. Sorry, I missed that. And the bat chat 12 ton goes down. E75 in the dip. Oh, and the laser accurate gun lets us down with bad RNG. Can we get another shot? Go for the T54. Use the gun depression. Yes, that's better. And potentially the high caliber. Go for it again. Yep. Lovely shot. That's another kill. Four. Still need to get that standard B out of there and the E75. He's using the wreck as cover. Popping up to see what he can see. I would have thought the E75 would have been visible. Yeah, the others are saying that he should go into the town. Uh, it's not so sure about that. The Bajetto's down that way. Looks like Artie is going to target under or near where the E75 was last seen. He might still be there. Oh, this is good. Okay, they just lost their standard B. Pajetto goes. Beautiful shot. Five kills. Now, E75, where are you? Oh, he's been killed. Standard B got him. And that means now they've got the Wizzy120, which is there. Is he looking this way? Yes, I think he was. Or was he looking the other way? I think he might have been looking the other way at the standard B. And he's gone. Taken out by the Conqueror gun carriage. And that means there's only one enemy left. It's the RT. And, well, Sly Meerkat needs that kill for his Top Gun. Oh, he's been requested to platoon with the standard B, and he's accepted. 
Nicely done. That means they're going to get the brothers in arms. Just need to find the RT. There he is. And one shot kill. Beautiful. That ends the game with a victory. Ten kills between the platoon. Let's have a look at the end of battle stats. Well, it's an ace tanker for Sly Meerkat in the Leopard Prototype A. He managed to get a spotter badge for getting at least a thousand hit points of damage spot. Um, a hand of God for re receiving, um, surviving the battle, having received damage from four different enemy tanks. An arsonist, he set fire to the TVP T5051, watched him burn to death, best way for them to go. And also a duelist and a fire for effect. He also picked up an Oskins medal for killing three enemy tanks that were at least one tier higher than him during the battle in a medium tank. A brothers in arms for being in platoon with somebody else who had at least three kills. A high caliber for dealing the most damage in the game and a top gun for getting six kills in total very well played indeed sir let's have a look at the team score there you go top of the table 5679 hit points of damage next highest scorer was the Pajetto's uh, 65 who was killed on the move 3738 hit points to him and after that it was the standard b on his own team he platooned with who managed to get 2899 when it came to kills again he's got the highest with six the Standard B managed to get four, and then there's two tanks with two kills apiece, including the Conqueror gun carriage and the Bat Chat 12, 12 ton on the enemy team. And when it came to base XP, there was only two players who managed to get over a thousand base, and those were the Standard B with 1009 and Sly Meerkat with 1459, making him the top in all three columns. He fired 28 rounds of 105mm ammunition, got 16 direct hits and 14 penetrations. Well, so much for laser accuracy of the gun, but yes, he did get some good pens on the enemy. 5,679 hit points of damage, of which 3,766 were at more than 300 metres. He received four hits from the enemy, three of them penned, one didn't, and one hit by way of splash damage, I'm afraid, as well. Um, yes, I'm afraid this just shows that the armour on the Leopard Prototype A is negligible and the best way to handle the enemy is from a distance like a TD. He blocked damage of 320 hit points, he spotted two enemy vehicles, damaged nine in the enemy, killed six and did 2489 hit points with spotting assist. On a premium count he earned 57,647 credits and after repair and ammunition resupply took away 41,835 credits. He received 1,459 XP times 2 for the first victory, took away 4,378 experience points altogether. So an excellent battle there by Sly Meerkat and Leopard Prototype A. Congrats on the Ace Tanker. Nice haul of medals. And nice that you managed to platoon at the last moment to get a BIA. It's not often that happens nowadays because them. Um, most people leave it until the last moment and unfortunately then by then it's normally too late to actually accept in time. But uh, well done. If you enjoyed that replay, please give this video a like and do subscribe to our channel and thank you for watching.